What's up guys? This is Manoj Shuktani. I welcome you all on behalf of the ADPedia world. It's been a wonderful day out there and I'm sure that you guys must be enjoying your life to the fullest guys. You are watching this video in the best of your health and spirit. So guys, we have already completed our first presentation in which I discussed with you some of the basics relating to the topic of foreign exchange and I'm sure that you guys must have honored your word of revising that. So do keep this thing in mind that you need to revise as many topics as you can. Sailing through CA final is only and only can be possible with regular revisions. So this is going to be the second video presentation in which I'm going to discuss with you a few more to topics relating to the core topic of foreign exchange. So are you guys all set? Fasten up your seatbelts. We are about to take off with the first topic of the day and that will be quotes in the foreign market. Guys, there are primarily two quotes in which the entire forex market is being covered. This is first direct quote. Second one is indirect quote. Direct quote guys is basically a quote wherein the exchange rate is expressed in the number of units of the domestic currency per unit of foreign currency. Let's suppose here if I am dealing into dollars. Okay, and I have got rupees in my pocket. So I'll simply say $1 is equivalent to X number of rupees. So since I have placed that foreign currency in my left hand side, which is $1 equal to dollar here will be my base currency. I am considering my domestic currency as the number of units in comparison with one unit of foreign currency, which is dollar. So $1 equal to 64.8 Indian national rupees. This is gonna be an example for direct quote. Direct quote is nothing wherein the exchange rate is basically expressed in the number of units of domestic currency per unit of foreign currency. Here it's per unit of dollar equal to INR 64.80. This is an example for direct quote. So now what will be the indirect quote? It's gonna be exactly opposite to direct quote. An indirect quote is basically a quote where the exchange rate is expressed in terms of number of units of foreign currency per unit of domestic currency. Now, keeping in the same example in your mind, which I just made you understand over here, which was with respect to the direct quote, which was $1 equal to INR 64.80. Let's suppose if I have to take the same example into consideration, I'll simply say one IR, INR that is Indian National Rupee will be equal to 1 divided by 64.80. It will come out to be dollar 0.0154. Now since here I am basically taking into consideration my own domestic currency as my base currency. So I have kept it in left hand side. So 1 INR will be equal to 0.0154 dollar. This is what is called as indirect code. So these are the two primary kind of examples for direct quote and indirect quote. I hope you guys are pretty much clear with each and every kind of quote which I made you understand here. This format will be very 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 useful for you guys while we'll be like solving the questions in our forthcoming presentations. So keep that thing in your mind. The major two quotes are direct quote and indirect quote. Shall we proceed further guys? Let's go ahead with the second topic and which will be bid, ask and spread. What do I mean by bid? What do I mean by ask? And what do I mean by spread? Bid is something which is called as a price at which dealer or maybe banker, whichever the scenario may be, is willing to buy another currency. Remember guys, I'll be telling and making you understand all these concepts with two perspectives. Number one, you as a common individual and second will be you as a banker or dealer. Bid is something which is known as a price. Okay that banker is willing to accept another currency. Let's take into consideration the example which is available in the presentation itself. It says INR per dollar is equal to 64.50 slash 64.55. If let's suppose I need to go to my banker and ask them bank, I need dollars. So what's going to be done by the banker? Banker will say if in case you want some dollar, I will get you some dollar at the rate of 64.55 but if in case you are willing to sell me the dollar then i'm gonna buy it for 64.50 bank is very clear with this instruction bank says that i am gonna purchase cheaper and will sell you expensive 
Why? Because I'm the banker and I need my commission. Now you, if in case you will be taking into consideration the same scenario, if you are an individual, in your case, it always has to be that you will have to buy expensive and you'll have to sell cheaper. In bank's case or maybe the dealer's case, they'll accept the currency at a cheaper rate and then sell it at a higher rate. So this is going to be a simple example for bid. Bid is basically the price at which the dealer and the banker is willing to buy another currency. Bid will always and always will be the one which is cheaper in uh, if I'll talk about with relation to the banker or dealer codes and bid will be expensive for you guys. Exactly same will be the thing for ask. Now what is ask? Ask is basically the price at which dealer and the banker is willing to sell its currency. So here in this present scenario, which is the INR per dollar, bank will be willing to sell the dollar at 64.55 rupees to you. They will not sell you at 64.50. They will only and only sell you at 64.55. Why? Because they'll charge their own profit margin on it. And what do I mean by spread? Spread is basically the difference between bid and ask. So here the spread will be 0 0.05. Am I guys clear to each one of you? Cool. Bid, ask and spread. Bid is the rate at which the bank is willing to buy another currency. Ask is the rate at which the banker or dealer will sell the currency. And spread is something which is in between of them. Bid and ask, the difference between them is called as spread. I hope I'm clear with each one of the thing. Just keep this basic concept in your mind guys. If you are a banker, you'll always and always sell at higher price and buy cheaper and if in case you are a simple individual okay and you are a customer to them they will always and always the banker will always sell you higher and you will have to uh, sell them at a cheaper rate so keep this thing in your mind banker will always make the profit and you as a customer will always get some kind of uh, loss if i'll talk about with respect to bid and ask quotes Having said that, you can still go for arbitrary positions. I'll make you understand all these things in later part of the conversation wherein I'll be showing you numerous things in my presentation. So this was for the timing. You just need to keep in mind your bid, your ask and spread. Am I guys clear with you? Perfect. Let's move towards the next topic and which is the inverse quote. Inverse quote, quote is basically something which is the opposite of direct quote. It's very, very simple layman term. I'll simply conclude it as the inverse of direct quote what uh, has to be done while calculating the inverse quote let's suppose we have got a direct quote which is INR per dollar one dollar is having will be equal to INR 64 bid and 64.55 ask bid is something at which rate the bank will purchase bank is gonna purchase the dollar at 65 rupees and bank will sell the dollar at 64.55 rupees clear guys cool now if i need to take into consideration my inverse quote calculation what do i need to do i just need to swap i just need to swap remember and understand i just need to swap both these figures which is 64.55 with 64 and 64 with 64.55 while calculating them so it has to be 1 divided by 64.55 that will be considered as bid and 1 divided by 64 that will be considered as ask now you'll be like uh, uh, you'll be thinking or you'll be pondering about this fact why i did this i basically did this thing in order to ensure that my bid comes out to be less than the ask so here the present scenario my bid came out to be as 0 0.0155 and my ask came out to be 0 0.0156 now you got my point so it's absolutely clear guys number of dollars per unit of INR will be equal to 0 0.0155 LHS uh, basically not LHS that will be the bid and the ask would be 0 0.0156 now guys if in case I would have in a normal manner then what would have happened it would have been that my bid would have come out to be 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.0156 and my ask would have been 0 0.0155 which is absolutely showing me the incorrect picture 
so that that would have would not have been the correct picture if i'll talk about with respect to the bed and ask bed is always cheaper ask is always expensive so it's a very 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 simple kind of cal calculation guys remember remember mathematics while solving this if you will be dividing your numerator which is less in comparison to the amount which is uh, more with respect to the numerator certainly you'll get an amount which is less in overall totality so here if in case i'll be dividing 1 with 64.55 i'll get a figure which is less as compared to if i'll divide 1 with 64 so ab absolutely it's nothing and merely the mathematics calculation you just need to ensure that your bid is always less than your ask and that will be only done if in case you'll be reversing your quotes accordingly while calculating the inverse quote calculation am i guys loud and clear to you perfect let's move towards the last topic of this presentation and which will be these four different type of rates spot rate tom rate cash rate and forward rate guys i'll tell you a story what used to happen uh, like five six seven eight or maybe ten years down the line there used to be a cycle in each and every kind of uh, mechanism be it your stock exchange be it your currency exchange be it your any other foreign exchange market there is a basic cycle which is called as settlement cycle. So if in case you have ever bought some of the shares for any of the company, you must have seen that if you are paying the amount today, okay, uh, the settlement is basically done after a period of say a week or maybe 10 days down the line. There used to be a principle with respect to the stock exchange of India wherein the settlement used to take place even 10 days uh, after the transaction or maybe 5 days or maybe 7 days. Now the same has been like reduced gradually over the years now and currently the settlement rate which is available in the currently presently in our country is T plus 2 transaction day plus 2 working days. This is gonna be the spot rate. Spot rate is guys the rate which is being quoted for transaction that will be settled in 2 business days from the date of contract that is T plus 2. Now what's the difference between spot rate and tom rate? Tom rate is tomorrow basically so tom rate is the rate which is quoted for transaction that will be settled in one business day from the date of transaction that is the date of contract so tom rate will be t plus one now what's the difference between tom rate and cash rate guys cash rate is basically the rate which is quoted for transaction that will be settled on the same business day no more waiting nothing hand to hand over t plus zero settled sorted cash rate now comes lastly the forward rate. Let's suppose I am basically gonna uh, go for an option wherein I'll have to settle the payment let's say 2 months down the line or maybe 3 months down the line or maybe 15 days down the line. Now since the date is more than 2 days which is the normal business cycle of spot rate, the same will be categorized under forward rate. So if in case ever since my forward rate is basically the rate which is usually quoted for transactions that will be settled beyond two days from the date of contract and at a very mutually agreed rate which is called uh, t plus something days n number of days as you want to so spot rate is two t plus two tom rate is t plus one cash rate is basically t plus zero and forward rate is t plus n number of days this is all about the exchange rate and remember guys exchange rate is simply if i'll talk about is basically the price of one nation's currency in terms of another currency if you'll go beyond in very past you'll see that once uh, our india got independent from uh, this britishers rule so during that moment of time what happened uh, what used to happen was our uh, our currency in dollar currency or maybe british currency used to be alike on the similar note one rupee used to be one dollar like it used to be a time wherein uh, we have actually enjoyed this kind of privilege of uh, having the same kind of currencies but slowly and gradually down the line with respect to the nation's progress and technology aspect the dollar started appreciating and it appreciated like anything now the present scenario is one dollar is equal to 65 rupees it 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 doesn't used to be the same like 50 years back it used to be around one is to one but now it's one is to 65 so this is what uh, basically the exchange rate exchange rate is simple if i'll talk about it's it's the price of one nation's currency in terms of another currency so rupee to dollar dollar to rupee that's all so this is exchange rate and all these four components which i made you understand over here are the uh, subsets of that exchange rate spot rate 
टॉम रेट कैश रेट एंड फॉरवर्ड रेट आई होप आई गैस आई होप आई एम आई वॉज क्लियर टू यू गैस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ईच एंड एवरी थिंग विच आई मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड ओवर हेयर एंड गाइज लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन कम्स इन विद अ टॉपिक रिलेटिंग टू एप्रिसिएशन एंड डिप्रिसिएशन ऑफ करेंसी नाउ आई हैव मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड द सेम आई आई मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड द सेम थिंग विद एन एग्जाम्पल विच विल बी वन डॉलर विल बी इक्वल टू आई एन आर सिक्सटी फाइव एंड वन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू आई एन आर सिक्सटी थ्री लेट सपोज टूडे द रेट इज वन डॉलर इक्वल एंड टू सिक्सटी फाइव आई एन आर एंड लेट्स इट वन मंथ डाउन द लाइन वन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू आई एन आर सिक्सटी थ्री सो इन द प्रेजेंट सनारियो वॉट कैन आई से आई कैन सिंपली से दैट इंडियन करेंसी इज एप्रिशिएटिंग नाउ अर्लियर फॉर वन डॉलर यू नीड टू पे सिक्सटी फाइव रुपीज नाउ फॉर वन डॉलर यू जस्ट नीड टू पे सिक्सटी थ्री एज कम्पेयर टू सिक्सटी फाइव सो विच करेंसी इज एप्रिशिएटिंग योर करेंसी आर करेंसी इंडियन करेंसी इज एप्रिशिएटिंग सो एप्रिशिएशन इज बेसिकली आई कैन सी दैट अ करेंसी इज सेट टू हैव एप्रिशिएटेड इफ इन केस अ पर्सन लाइक यू एंड मी इज एबल टू परचेज मोर ऑफ अदर करेंसी अगेंस्ट इट आफ्टर एप्रिसिएशन सो अर्लियर आई यूज टू पे सिक्सटी फाइव रुपीज फॉर वन डॉलर नाउ फॉर द सेम प्राइज ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव आई गेट वन पॉइंट समथिंग समथिंग डॉलर सो इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट नाउ हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एप्रिसिएशन एंड डिप्रिसिएशन परसेंटेज इट्स वेरी सिंपल स्पॉट रेट विच इज अवेलेबल दैट इज सिक्सटी फाइव ओके फॉरवर्ड रेट इज सिक्सटी थ्री फॉरवर्ड रेट माइनस स्पॉट रेट डिवाइडेड बाई योर स्पॉट रेट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड सिंपल इट कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्सटी थ्री वन मन डाउन द लाइन टूडे इट्स सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी थ्री माइनस सिक्सटी फाइव दैट इज टू रुपीज गेन डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फाइव विच इज योर प्रेजेंट रेट योर करंट सेना यूल गेट द एप्रिसिएशन एंड डिप्रिसिएशन परसेंटेज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इट क्लियर गाइज शॉर्टेड सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द प्रेजेंटेशन वेर एन वी डिस्कस सम ऑफ द फैसिनेटिंग टॉपिक्स रिलेटिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर को टॉपिक ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज आई होप यू गैस आर प्रेटी मच क्लियर with each and every kind of topic that i made you understand here in this presentation if in case you have got some of the grievances if in case you have got some of the queries do not forget to write to us write to us on your youtube comments certainly we will help you out with respect to any of your basic queries and grievances whichever you have with respect to this particular topic so with this i'll simply say thank you on behalf of the edupedia world if in case you have liked our video guys do give us your positive comments like share and subscribe our video and certainly keep spreading our messages which is virtual education is free education so we are here to promote the virtual education into the market free education is our purpose edupedia's purpose stay connected that will help us in understanding your needs way way better guys keep interacting i'll see you in the next presentation with a lot more fascinating topics till then keep revising your topics i'll say thank you sayonara god bless you all bye